Cool. Hey, don't forget mitra-9.com, right? Does yep. that thing still work? That still yes, works. it does. M-I-T-R-A-9.com and then the promo code. Problematic. That's it. It's got all your Kratom needs. I just took some and I feel a million times better. Uh, you, don't so, have to, like, you don't have to make this green sludge anymore that these two guys no, took. Like, no. It tastes like, I put it in the water, it tastes like, you know, a Gatorade that makes you feel good. Yeah. It really, you know. It doesn't taste. You know a, me. I don't like it. No, it's changed everything. I hate because, right, uh, because they made it taste good. They made it easy to do. Yeah, I'm not sucking down mud like you two guys are. Yeah, it's. Uh, I, I would say it's quite an upgrade. Yeah, and it's nice to see. Look, man. You know, early on, we didn't have these options. Okay, I know. And that's I get the problem it. too. Is that uh, Mitra? I know, love it. Hey, look. When things are legalized and people can make money on it, and they tax them. Like you don't have to drink green sludge out of an old <laughs> right. Kool Aid bottle. You're like, oh, look at this. It's nicely packaged it right. tastes good like oh okay this is great yeah and that's part of the thing is like hey this is already really popular and in right. stores in other parts of the country we want to get it into your part of the country tell people about it okay so that's awesome there we would go. love for it to be here so this right. is i know this is mitra-9.com promo code problematic you can uh watch us talk about it at twitch.tv slash church laszlo and if you need to get in touch with us anyway at all, go to Lazlo.church, right? Yep, all of our links are there. We'd love for you to be on our subreddit, uh, yeah, because after hours and on our uh, Discord, and we try. And I read that subreddit to... all the time, just so you know. I go to it every night. I may not comment, uh, but I always read it. Me too. I look at it a couple times a day. This is. I know we've talked some. Whoever guy posted that bed. Oh, the bed with the what holes in it. Ja I oh, hated okay. that for the tryptophobia. Or yeah, it's like called. Lazlo's favorite. Like it literally grossed me. I was like, it would Come be on, good man. to do that for a. And bat. Snowcone did it like a week ago. Just sent me a picture. I took like just texted it. Yeah, I like doing that too. It's been yeah. a while. I sent you that tooth fungus or whatever it was. Gross, man. You guys are real nice. dicks. Uh, this is not necessarily sports related. I mean, the beginning of it is. And I know we've already talked sports today with Arian Foster and Tom Brady, and I'm going to mention the third, but. Joseph Osai. Am I saying oh, his name yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. He's a okay. rookie. I don't know. Yeah, so yeah, well. everyone's been talking about him this week yeah. because... Felt bad for him. Because they feel bad for him because he's the one who pushed Mahomes when Mahomes is out of bounds, and that put him in field goal range. And, and there's been a lot of people who are angry on social media, and then what happened, which was kind of nice to see, was there was pushback from not just uh, Bengals fans, and not just his family, but from even like Chiefs fans saying, hey, you know, let's not S on this guy. Uh... Let, also, I saw this morning someone put together a highlight reel of his game that night. Right. Like, had, if you're going to oh, say he, he lost game. the game, yeah. like let's just watch all these sacks and everything else that right. he's doing over here and all these tackles that he's getting. Um, but and again, I know, like I, I, it was the right call. He pushed him out of bounds. Yeah. But that is, I like I told you, I hate that call. Yeah. Every time I see it, I hate it. Yeah. It, it gives complete advantage to the quarterback. It, yeah, and it adds a bit of almost randomness. I still think Snowcone disagrees with me. I think. Because, Snoko, you were the one saying you got to look at his feet, right? Is he inbounds? But I still think if you've got that momentum and you think he might be trying to get a few more yards to get Especially into field goal range, Especially when you're trying to stop those him. five yards. And I have – there's no doubt, people, it was the right call, but I have seen Mahomes run right. towards that sideline <laughs> right. and, and then stop at the last second and get six more yards. Yep. And, right? It happens. Absolutely. You know? And I just think you've got that momentum going. You yeah. know, in basketball, if the ball's out of your hands – but you know, before the right. shot clock ends, but it was the right call. Go. And look, a lot of players make the right play there. He made the wrong decision, but you but, know. but 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 essing on him and saying this is all his fault is right. ridiculous. Of right? course, of course, and he had a good game. But I, it did make me think because I saw the picture of him, which a lot of people probably see now. He's sitting on the sidelines. He's got like his oh, gator man. or whatever. This pulled up over his head. You know, he's upset with his head down. They said that somebody yelled at him, right? Snowcone didn't one of the guys say this is my yeah, last they were, season. They were walking to the locker room. He's like, "How could you touch the quarterback? Keep your hands off the quarterback." Something like that. Yeah, something about this is my last season. I heard he one said of this them is say, "My yeah. last season." Okay. Yeah. So, and I also I think I heard that he apologized, but I could be believing that. But my question for you is, when in your life was your Osai moment? You were talking about a basketball game the other day, a kids' basketball game that came down to a a, a penalty yeah. shot, and you know how much pressure that is on a kid, like. Hey, you know, we're going to win this game. All you got to do is get, Hit these, two get, free get throws. these two free right. throws. And, With and no it, time left. Right. And everyone, all your friends, your teammates, the parents are all watching you. Right. You know, and you either get it or you don't. Now, getting it, that's a whole different memory. Sure. Those are great memories. But, and those, those last, but those Osai moments, which I hate to call it that, but the moment when you felt like you were to blame, right. that you just can't shake, and you were like, I'm sorry. You know, I I want to go crawl into a corner somewhere and cry because I, I feel like this is all my fault. Did you have those moments? 
didn't I mean, have I've any had sports. Mo- moments that I regret. Yeah. You know, and, and I'm not talking like, you know, esoteric things like, oh, I regret acting like this, which then, like, you know, there have been sports moments where I'm like, you know what? I had that. I screwed it up. Yeah. I, you know, that it has happened for sure. But you've never had that moment where, like, either all eyes are on you, this is it. If he gets this, whatever it mm. is, whatever sport it is, Mm-mm. we win the game. That's a lot of pressure. And in those right. moments, I think I would probably say, I can't. I think I hurt my ankle. I don't have what it takes in that moment. Right. But I mean, I, I watch my kids do it sometimes, you know. and you know, Tie game, ugh. bottom of the ninth, guy on third, two outs, and I'm like, you know, or one out and, you know. I'm, right. If there's one out, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm like whatever. The next the next kid can eat that, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. Yes. But if it's it's him and it's a lot, I'm like, oh god. Right, that's a lot of pressure for a kid. Yeah, and then as a parent watching it, you know, like yeah. I, like last year they put him out, they put my oldest in left field. He just never played outfield in his life. Yeah, and they're up by like six runs, and they give up five. Right, there's two outs. I see the kid hit one to left field. I'm like, you gotta be kid. like, right. He's gonna drop it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But there's no way. And then he dove and caught it. Which and is I, went, a great I went to memory. my I went to the coach. I was like, "Yo, he's like, I." As soon as he hit it, I thought easy out, and I'm like, <laughs> right. because everybody was watching, like he ain't gonna catch that. Yeah, there's no way. So, you know, if he would have dropped it, I don't know what you do about that. Well, you remember it. It's just a different part of your memory. It's sure. that thing that ugh, that you're thinking about when you lay in bed at night. It doesn't have to be sports. I mean, snow cone. You know, the anti gravity machine at Space Camp malfunctioned because he dropped so many quarters out of his pockets and then he right. ruined it for all the Pennies. other kids. Pennies. It wasn't even quarters. It was right. pennies flying out of his pockets and he ruined it for all the other kids. They couldn't go experience the anti gravity machine because there was pennies in the gears. Yes, they right. it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, have, it doesn't to. have to be sports. <laughs> I did have a sports one, which I've told Lazo about before. I probably said it on the air, but it was I was about done playing soccer. I think I was like 14. I'd started playing when I was like five. I was never mm-hmm. any good at it, but I kept playing and, uh, uh, this particular year, I was on the team with an actual friend of mine. Usually, it was just, this is your team. They assigned you. But it was like the last game of the season. And if our team won that game, then they would have gone to some sort of a playoff, you know, round robin. I don't remember exactly. But towards the end of the game, I see my big chance. And I'm like, this is it, man. I've got the ball. The ball comes to me. And I'm looking in front of me. And there's basically nobody. Everyone's behind me. I just see the goalkeeper and me. I'm like, I got to go. So I start dribbling. You know, I've got this ball, and I'm I'm getting down the field with it. Right. And I hear the crowd screaming, Reed, Reed. You know, like, and you're like yeah, you do you're it. going the wrong way. And I kicked it into the goal. I finally got a goal, which as a defender, you know, I wasn't even supposed to be down there. But I got the goal, and I looked up, and the goal keep looks at me, and it's it's my goalkeeper. And I was like, oh. oh. And everyone's like, just looking at me like. Didn't you notice it was your goalkeeper? Your I was goal- watching the ball. I was watching the ball, so I didn't lose it. And then I looked up at that net, and I just saw, like, his figure, and I kicked it. And honestly, I think I knew it was him about the time the ball was hitting the back of the net. But you know what? It's also what's really sad is that's my greatest sports moment because he was trying to prevent me from scoring a goal. He was doing this, you know. Man, you got to buy him. Congratulations. You got to buy him. It's just the wrong goal. And that's why I was like, you know, I've never sports, done that. sports isn't my I've favorite. never gone the wrong way. I've seen people do it. I've coached people who have done it. And you're like, it's okay, man. Oh, they man. have? Okay, you good. You get confused, I whatever. Just, well, but I've never done sides. it. Like, I just, you know. You know, we switch sides. I understand and, the problem. I understand where you got lost. I played a lot of games on that field before. Switched it up. You were going this way. Now you're going that way. Look, I get how the confusion happens. It's so crazy. In your brain, all those chants of, read, read. It it went from go, go, go to after I realized what I'd done. I realized those people were angry at me. They were screaming at me to stop. Like, get off the field, you moron. But I guess that's my, you know, that's my great moment. That's throwing that third strike, you know, uh, to, to win the game. And it's right. my biggest mess up because I don't, I don't have that. I never I never had a great moment in sports. So, Cone, did you play any sports? Yeah. You, yeah, what did you play? I played basketball, football. I played soccer a lot when I was younger. Okay, on leagues you played? Yeah. Did you have a moment where it came down to you? No. Yeah. I mean, not, nothing that comes to mind. Because, uh, honestly, God, I think if it did, if they were like, hey, you know, get this foul. I never had where it just came down to me. Yeah. Like, and, and if I did, I don't remember. But, you know, also I returned a you... kickoff for a touchdown, which was, you know, Good. that's what I remember. In, like, you remember the whole thing. Like, it, where you, you went, how them. it went, yeah. I did that. Well, I scored more touchdowns playing football, but that was one, like, the kickoff thing. I was like, all right, this is cool. But you never screwed it up for the whole team? Were they I all mean, maybe, but not like, you know, at the end. Not like his thing is, if that play happens seven plays earlier, yeah. we're not talking about it. 
Right, I know. We're just not talking about that. I, I mean, that was just like right then, right there, you I, know? I know. I heard on Kelsey's podcast this morning, he said that that guy was the toughest guy to block all night. Like, played an amazing game and has had that one I, single yeah. mistake. Yeah, I mm-hmm. watched the highlight reel this morning where they just yeah. literally highlighted him and showed all those plays where he made big plays. Yeah. He made a lot of big plays that yeah. night. But, and it, it is kind of nice, like I said, to see people saying, hey, you know what? Let's let's not let's not direct all of our anger at this guy. I guess if you're a fan, you're frustrated, but you can be frustrated with what Laszlo's saying, which mm-hmm. is the way the rule works. Yes, it's yes, it's you a rule. You can also be frustrated with him, but I mean, he is a human being, right? I, it, the game is played by human beings. It's not perfect, but if you're it's gonna be an mad, imperfect game, if you're going to be mad at someone, I, it seems like it would be easier to be mad at someone who's also bad. Like they've been messing you up all season. I'm sick of your crap. You know what I mean? The amount of crap that this poor guy got. You know, that's the problem. I think most people. You know, I don't know. I think most people who watch sports and have played sports at some level, right, understand that that's not – that play did cost them the game, but that's a series of plays and things that happened to get them there for that to happen. And so I think while you look at it, you're like, yeah, no, that seriously did cost us the game. If You know, if you look at it, you're like, but there were these other things that happened along the way, you know, that got us there. So. I mean, it was a, it was a tied game. It's not right. In in the fact that he had a good game, I don't know. Look, I, if we're, I guess I'm asking people to be nice on the internet, and that's that's just well, not going to happen. happen. And if you're an athlete, people are gonna they're they're gonna get mad at you. They're gonna talk trash. You know, I'm and, surprised that they didn't rally around him, because I really thought like when that kind of stuff happens, a lot of times you'll see people rally. So uh, Michigan has a player, Ronnie Bell, from right here yeah. in Kansas City. His mm-hmm. brother's going to Michigan too. And I don't know, like three years ago, he dropped a touchdown pass at Penn State to win the game. It, they had come all the way back at halftime. Harbaugh said this will be the greatest Michigan thing ever. And they came all the way back and with very little time got hit in the numbers and dropped it. Yeah. And I just remember Michigan fans like, man, I love Ronnie Bell. Like, you know, there were, yes, there were some, but the overwhelming, if there were people who were saying, you suck, the overwhelming was, shut up, man. Right. This happens. He's human. Like, you felt like this. Like, they almost rallied around him. Like, we love you, man, and we're not going to let anybody do that. It happens. We're human. Uh, and so they really defended him from the Internet people who like to be mean. Yeah. I haven't seen anybody really come out and defend him. I've seen athletes. Uh, for a right? side? Yeah. yeah I've seen, but I haven't players. seen, like, a community in Cincinnati come out and be like shut up right this guy's awesome whatever it happened right i didn't i haven't felt any of that uh, community no. swell go up about it usually that happens That's right kinda, well his sister said something on twitter and i did see that got a lot of responses and i even saw people in there who said hey i'm, I'm a chiefs fan you know this which i guess maybe it's easier for a chiefs right, fan to sure. say, right you? but uh, you're right i've seen other nfl players they've been tweeting about it you know saying hey he's a great player or whatever right. but then i also see in the new york post that you know but we did his the same thing with what's his name? With who? Uh, the dude who lined up D offside. D Ford. People, yeah. hey, there was no rallying no, yeah, in no, Kansas that's true. City for like, no. you know what, D Ford, you had a good season. That's Without true. you, we're not here. We that's were just like, we hate you. <laughs> that's can't true. wait. And they're like, you got to yeah. leave. We'll go to San Francisco. You suck. <laughs> yeah, that's right? True. Like, I mean, and then we so we can all be like, oh, we're better than that. But we ain't better than that. No, when we played in the Super Bowl, the next year we're still talking trash on them. Yeah. Another team. I didn't feel Kansas City as a whole was like, let's protect a D Ford. No, you're right. They were like, you're an idiot. You're right. You're cut in the offseason. Right. Yeah, and maybe some of those Patriots fans were like, hey, man. There could have been, like, okay. dude, there's a lot of <laughs> right. things went into this, right? Yeah. I mean, that could be it, right? Yeah. I think Are we right. done? Yeah, we're out of here. We're All out right. of time. Uh, good show, D Ford. How about that? I'll be the one. Just, right. I'm going to get a nice. D Ford jersey. I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna, I am going to get a D Ford jersey. Stay positive, kids.